Good morning and welcome back to North Dakota today. We've got the 58th annual CMAs and it's set to be a banger of a show with the best names in the country industry set to highlight Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. So Sophia and I are here to break it all down for you. Yes, okay, you guys have probably seen that we have three hosts this year, Luke Bryan, Peyton Manning, and Lainey Wilson. How do you feel about the hosts? This is exciting. I think it's a good mix of you know, just pop culture, obviously, yeah. Peyton Manning. And then Lainey Wilson is such an up and comer. And then Luke Bryan has been just a staple in the industry for oh, so yeah. long. I think they did a good job picking those. I agree. I'm right there with you. Mm -hmm. I think Luke's a classic and you're bringing in that feminine energy there with Lainey. Yes. And who doesn't love a little Peyton Manning in there? I know. I, <laughs> you know, personally, I think that Dolly Parton should just MC everything. Uh, but everything. I don't think she, you know, can do everything. Well, she, I mean, she can, but <laughs> like that would be my ideal pick. But oh, always. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a ton of presenters too at the award show, and those pronounced like names like Simone Biles, Dustin Lynch, Taylor, Frankie, Paul. So up on your screen, these are actually some of the performances, not the presenters, but. I thought it was crazy that Taylor Frankie Paul is presenting. Okay, who is that? <gasps> Sophia! Is that the one with the long dark hair? Yes, so she is a famous Utah TikToker. Okay. And also they just had a reality series, Secret Lives of Mormon Wives, that got super big. Yep. And it's all about the scandals of Mormon wives. Okay, I watched like two episodes of this with my mom and my sister. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how, well, I guess it doesn't really need a lot of qualifications. Yeah, it's I guess having not. her on the same stage as Simone Biles. It's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I agree. You have an Olympic athlete and then you have this Mormon mom TikTok. who <laughs> dances on TikTok. So quite interesting. <laughs> yes, but of course, we're the most excited for the performances opening the show Post Malone and Chris Stapleton in a little duo concert. Ooh. Some other collaborations that we'll see Kelsey Ballerina Ballerini, excuse me, and Noah Kahan. Wait, Noah Kahn. Noah Kahn. I am so. I always say Noah oh, Kahan. I'm so excited for Whatever. that one. I love both of them so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I always say that wrong. So Ella Langley and Riley Green, Thomas Rhett and Teddy Swims, and then a couple more. We've had some of those acts in our area. We yeah. had both Teddy Swims and Riley Green in Fargo this summer. <gasps> and we're getting. A few more of the performers there too coming up at WeFest next year, yeah. which I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. So of course we have solo performances as well. We were showing you those pictures earlier. We've got our guys, Luke Combs, Luke Bryan, Shibuzi, you know, a bar song, Tipsy, mm -hmm. that's up there. Eric Church. My favorite. Yes. Cody Johnson, Chris Stapleton, Bailey Zimmerman, and my guy Posty, of course, back up there. And we've got the females bringing the country girl power, Megan Maroney, Casey Musgraves, Lainey Wilson, and Ashley McBride. I've never heard of Ashley McBride, but I'm also just dipping my toe into the country scene, so. I have, I don't really listen to like the new country. Okay. I listen to like Your old, old country. Yeah, I'm more of like the Eric Church, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean era. Okay. Not like the Megan Maroney, Riley Green, Warren mm -hmm. Zeters, whatever. Okay, so. I feel like Megan Maroney, I'm super excited for her because mm -hmm. I feel like she's very glitz, glam country. Yeah. She's bringing in what Dolly also kind of brought yep. into the industry. <laughs> so she's embracing femininity and diamonds and mm -hmm. glitter and like that could be country too, which I really appreciate. Because I feel like the Carrie Underwood, Miranda Lambert, like if you cheat on me, I'm going to key your car country <laughs> was definitely super popular. Like oh, scorned yeah. woman, angry vibes, oh, yeah. which don't get me wrong. I love those songs, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, we're just excited for it. Well, you guys, if you haven't watched the CMAs before, there are 12 different award categories. The first category is Entertainer of the Year, followed by Single of the Year, Album of the Year, and Song of the Year. Then it gets a little more artist-centric. We got Female Vocalist of the Year, Male Vocalist, Vocal Group, and Vocal Duo of the Year. The CMAs also highlight Musical Event of the Year, Musician, and Music Video. And last but not least, New Artist of the Year. Exciting. Okay, Morgan Wallen has seven nominations this year. Followed not by surprised. Chris Stapleton. <laughs> no, seriously. And Cody Johnson with five nominations. So, Very yeah. typical. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not surprised by those <laughs> at all. But I am rooting for Bar Song. I'm loving that. We're going to have to tune in. It's tomorrow night. Yeah, exciting, you guys. Well, coming up next, we have your Daily Dose of Motivation.